catch yourself every day or day after day seeking the Holy Spirit desperately? If not, you may not truly know yourself or you may not truly know the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot know God. We cannot discern the Bible. We cannot overcome sin and we cannot help others around us. We can see that since the beginning of time, there was a great need for the Holy Spirit. Since Adam and Eve went and rebelled against God and there's been rebellion ever since. But God had a great plan. And in this plan, he had nothing less but the full transformation of his people, of you, of me. Hallelujah. Hence the Holy Spirit. Now, who is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is unique in his own way. And he is God. But he is God. Okay. Actually, if we look in Acts 5, 3-4 and Ephesians 4.30, it talks about, Acts talks about how the Holy Spirit is God. It says plainly the Holy Spirit is God. And in Ephesians, it talks about how the Holy Spirit can be grieved, pushing and pointing towards how the Holy Spirit is personal. It's personal, has a relationship with us, and the Holy Spirit can feel, and we can grieve the Holy Spirit. It says, do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Now it's interesting. We can see that the Holy Spirit is a helper. We can see that in the beginning, when Jesus started his ministry, he went, he got baptized in the Jordan by John the Baptist, and when he came up, the heavens opened, and the Holy Spirit came down like a dove, and he was filled with the Holy Spirit. And he went on his way. You know, and we can see in countless other times also, the Bible pointing towards the Holy Spirit for the amazing, miraculous feats done. And they were all guided by the Holy Spirit. Amen. But, look, I want to open up to the Bible verse of John 16, 7. Okay, it says in John 16, 7, ne Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Look, we can see, through, especially in the Gospels, how the Holy Spirit was a Helper, how the Holy Spirit was God. And Jesus, he had to go. Because when he ascended to heaven, the Holy Spirit came. It must have been crazy for the disciples to have Jesus there in their lives, die, resurrect, and then tell them, I gotta go. But when Jesus went, Holy Spirit came. And the Holy Spirit is here. He is with us today. The Holy Spirit is personal. So if you do not have this relationship with the Holy Spirit, then you should every single day focus on having this relationship with the Holy Spirit. Talk to the Holy Spirit. Speak to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is here. The Holy Spirit is here to help you, to guide you. The Holy Spirit is here with the church. We need the Holy Spirit. So embrace the Holy Spirit, because with the Holy Spirit, we can do great, amazing, marvelous wonders greater than Jesus did. Don't take me wrong. Jesus said that himself. Look, the Holy Spirit is here with us, okay? Let's take full advantage of this Holy Spirit. Let's grow with this Holy Spirit. Let's learn with this Holy Spirit. Embrace him. Talk to him. Love him. He is your best friend. He is your helper. And he is mine also. Have a blessed week. I know I will. Every heart will